these plants have kind of been just supporting themselves. I mean, the sheer weight of these plants is crazy, but there's plenty of Jimmy Nardellos. Here's one right here I can harvest. Here's a few more down here. This is historically really been my best performing pepper. If you want something that is an heirloom, you want something that's very tasty. This is definitely one of the tastiest peppers that I, I personally grow, and it performs so well in this climate. Um, anywhere in the Northeast, I think this is a great recommendation for people to grow this one. Um, so this one I've been growing for many years. I've saved the seed from it for many years, and you can see, I mean, this is not even, this is, I'm telling you, I've already harvested quite a few of these off of these plants. So you got this big blocky pepper here. You could stuff these very easily, um, and they're fantastic for grilling. I find the Jimmy Nardellos are great for um, preserving. I preserved these guys last year. You can also grill them and uh, saute them in, the, in olive oil and on a pan, and they make just, they're so good. Just absolutely perfect. Now, we also have a very productive variety this year that I've been very surprised to, uh, to learn is quite uh, productive, but it's the shishito pepper. And I don't remember the exact variety. I will find, I will try to find out what exactly this is because I was very interested in looking for a variety of shishito that was very, very productive. And this is, I think, a hybrid. And you could tell it's a hybrid because it just puts out so many peppers. And these plants look ridiculous. And the shishitos are fantastic. It's one of my favorite peppers, no doubt, for grilling. So many purposes, they got just a hint of that heat in there. Not enough to go crazy. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of people can really enjoy these and still get the heat that they're looking for without going too crazy and, and losing that flavor. This has got such a great balance of heat and flavor to it. If you haven't grown peppers here in this climate, you just don't know. Growing them in containers is one separate thing. You grow them in pots, you can very easily get a ton of peppers because all that excess heat. Luckily, I've been growing them here um, in this raised bed and we get all this excess heat, all those excess soil temperatures. This is a really warm, sunny spot in my yard. We only get eight hours of light here though, guys. And just look how many peppers are on here and they're gonna keep going. It's probably, I'm looking at like a hundred right now or close to a hundred right now. Again, I've already harvested some and they're just gonna keep growing and, and, and going and going and going. And these plants, it's like, I'm just, my mind is blown. The amount of food that I was able to grow of just the shishitos in such a small space. Then we go over here to some other new varieties I have um, that I've never really grown before. Here's some of the Jimmy Nardellos down here at the bottom. I'm kind of stepping all over these in, in the past and it's just, it hasn't been great for them. But this one down here is two different varieties. I have an Aji somewhere in here. Um, and then I also have something down here. Let me find the tag. It is called the Petite, the Petite Pepper. Uh, we have the Petite Pepper and we have a particular, um, I think what this is, let me find this. I know my camera works not great here, guys. The sweet bell pepper. This one came as a recommendation from someone that's growing some pepper plants in the north. And she said that this plant produces so many bell peppers for people in the north. Very small, compact plants, and they produce really well. And that's obvious. And I think that's what this is over here is this sweet bell that you're looking at. What did I say this was? The petite pepper here is doing pretty good. This is like a French, I think it's a French heirloom variety and uh, it's doing pretty decent puts out a lot of peppers on an heirloom that I think competes pretty well uh, they haven't had the best shake they haven't had the most amount of light over here because of these giant tomatillos I actually cut them out and there's even a tomato plant that was just like encroaching this whole area here um, so I think they're gonna be more productive than they they are at least right now but there's still nothing to, 
you know, to scoff at. I think uh, they're almost right up there with some of the more productive heirlooms I have, like Jimmy Nardello. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. You want to see more of the peppers? Let me know down in the comments. I'll talk more about peppers. We'll see you guys soon, all right? Take care.